Hey guys, Brett at Russell Marine Products. Today, we're gonna to talk about a NEMA system. NEMA backbone is what they call it. And we're gonna show you the components, how to set that up on a LaRanch unit today. Stick around, we'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, so we get a lot of questions on a NEMA backbone and, and how, what that is, how to set it up. So I wanna go through uh, a little bit on this boat. We've got LaRanche units, so we're gonna talk about LaRanche today, but we'll talk about at the end how to integrate that with a Garmin system and uh, the Hummingbird system. So today, we're gonna start with a NEMA starter kit, okay? So what comes in the NEMA starter kit? We've got our end resistors, so we've got a male and a female, and then we've got two T connectors, so they look like T's. We've got a drop-down cable, which is a two-foot drop-down cable, and then you've got your 15-foot extension cable. And we'll go over those pieces here in just a sec, how we set them up. And then lastly is the power cord. So this is going to get hooked to one of our T connectors, so it goes right here in the bottom. And they just screw together. You just want to screw them up tight. Okay. So now we're starting our backbone here. And this positive and negative, we can tie to any power. Typically, we're going to tie to something underneath the dash just to get power. Okay. Our second T here in our starter kit, these go together. Again, they just screw together here. And then... We're going to use this drop down cable. Again, it's our two foot drop down cable. Comes out of the bottom here. So we're going to connect that to the bottom of the T, or some guys will call it the top of the T if they're looking at it like this. Either way, you, it's either the top or the bottom. It comes in to the bottom side. Okay, so now we, we've started our backbone here. So for this setup right here, we've got two units here at the console. This drop down cable that's going to go to one of our units and it's going to be on our LaRanch units it's going to be on the far left hand side okay so that's how we'll hook up one unit now why do we use NEMA 2000 a lot of guys are going to put a point one on their boat right point one GPS puck it's NEMA 2000 this one has it on the back of the boat so you're gonna it will come with a T connector so same thing we're gonna plug this into the bottom of a T and it's got the extension cable that will run up to this one right here. And our extension cables, they come in two foot, six foot. Those are the most common, just depending on what kind of, what kind of link that you need. But then you're gonna plug this from the point one into the side here. Sorry, wrong end. Okay, so we've got our point one coming from the back of the boat running up here to our backbone. Again, this is typically gonna be mounted under the console. Got our power hooked up. This is gonna to go to our outside unit. And then we've got our extension cable, right? So in this case, we're just gonna hook up one unit and then we're gonna run it up to one unit up here. So we bring this extension cable out and we hook into the side of our T connector, okay? Then we're gonna run this cable. It's easy for me because I don't have to run it through the boat, but you're gonna have to run it through the boat. So you run this up front to that front unit. Again, we're gonna have a T connector and a drop down cable for the front unit up there. So this will come into the side of our T connector. Get that hooked in and screw together. And then we'll add another T or I'm sorry, we'll add another drop down to connect to that unit. Now here's the key. We've got our end resistors, okay? Our end resistors, they've got to go at the back of the system and at the front of the system. So we've got to close that NEMA network down. So on this one right here, 
We're going to put this on the end and put that end resistor. So that end resistor is up front. And then on our back here by our uh, point one, that T connector, you're going to put this on the other end of the NEMA system. Whoops. Okay, so that's going to go at the back here. So now we've got our point one back here. We've got our NEMA coming up. Our backbone is set here underneath the console. And then we've got one T is power, positive and negative. Hook that up. And then we've got one T for a drop down. Okay, so that drop down cable will go to this unit right here. 15 foot running up to the front unit with another T and a drop down. And then we've got our end resistor up there. Okay, so again, NEMA, what we're using for Lowrance, a .1 is NEMA 2000. On this boat, we've got a ghost up front. That's also going to be NEMA 2000. And the nice thing about once you get your backbone set up, if we added a second unit here at the console, we just take this apart right here and we can add, take this apart. I don't have enough NEMA connections. But then we could add this into our backbone right here. So we could add this in, then tie our extension cable back in. And now we're back in business. So now we've got this would be a drop down cable going to this unit. Now we can add as much as we want. So up there, we could add our ghost, uh, the, the T connector in there. We've got our unit up there and everything would then be talking through NEMA 2000. Now the key here is with NEMA 2000, what they like to do is the power needs to be in the middle of your backbone. So depending on how many units that you're gonna run, if we're just connecting one or two units here at the console with a point one, not a huge issue. You just need power in your NEMA backbone. But if we've got two here, a point one, and then say two or three up here, we would want the power to then be on the uh, furthest in T connect. So we'd want it here. So it's in, we've got two units here, two units up there. So we'd want the power in the middle of the backbone. Okay. So those are kind of some key components of setting up NEMA 2000 keywords. You know, we got power, we've got our T connectors, we've got our drop down cables, and then we've got our extension cables so that we can run up front, add more things. Um, Garmin is going to be the same thing. The, the NEMA with Garmin is actually interchangeable, so that would look the same. Uh, if we went Hummingbird, theirs is relatively the same. Their connectors are just going to look a little bit different than these. The black and, and Garmin's are going to be, be black and gray, but same idea. So T connectors, every unit or every device that you're going to have to hook up, you want a T connector and a drop down. So that's for every single device that you've got on your system and then you should be good to go. So that'll have all of our units talking, communicating with our point one, our ghost. Um, if you've got any questions, give us a call at 316-313-4113 or email us at russellmarineproducts.com. All right, guys, till next time, have a good day. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get installed on your boat today.